I've always struggled to paint straight lines. And in some cases, they really do need to be straight. So up to now, what I've done is used an acetate template and an airbrush. Um, the problem with that is the bigger the shape, the more likely it is to lift and then you get sort of clouding around the sides. So not quite such a sharp a line as you like. I've got a, um, a relatively inexpensive five uh, watt laser diode laser so I thought I'd give that a go see if uh, that would do a better job of it uh, using this blue painters tape so I'll show you what I did and then uh, meet you at the other end and tell you what I thought of the whole thing see you in a bit so here I put a uh, base coat of black on the blackboard let's get the dust off it and now I'm going to apply some uh, blue painters tape Just tear it off there, get it nice and flat. Just overlap it slightly so we don't get the paint going in. Good. A good old flattening down. And now I'm going to take it through to the laser which is in the garage. Okay so put the safety glasses on. I've already pre-cut in a piece of cardboard a template so that I can uh, exactly place the uh, backboard. This fits on there. A little bit of uh, air assist just to blow the smoke away. And now we just have to fire up the laser. Put the uh, arrow out. So now we can lift it out and can perhaps just see that it's cut out. So back into the workshop. Good, so next I'm going to make sure we've got the tape really firmly down so that the paint doesn't seep out from under it. Good. Now I just use a uh, scalpel blade just to lift the, lift the template off. Just go over it again with the over the edges again. Good. Now we're going to use some white acrylic paint. So put some paint in the little uh, tray. It's a tiny bit of water just to get it going. And then we I think that'll work. So I'll just leave that now to dry for a while. Okay, so the paint is not quite dry. If it dries right out, there's a danger of it chipping off. So what I need to do now is remove the tape without making a mess. Just one bit off. Pretty nice. Go behind there. So, it turned out pretty well, I think. In fact, very well. Very pleased with it. Um, the only problem I had really was it takes ages. I mean, it took me most of the morning to do eight of these, whereas if went the old technique was pretty quick with a, uh, a template and an airbrush. Um, certainly, if 
for small shapes I would still use the airbrush because it's pretty easy and also when you've got more than one colour you want to layer it's quite useful having the clear acetate templates to put over one layer over another which would be much more difficult for this technique but for bigger areas this works well as long as but say you've got to allow the time but there we go if you want a nice job it's worth doing just take a bit of time doesn't it see you next time thank you